previews for what's to come next week, which is the first of Feb. Mm-hmm. Well, of the time this re- episode release will be the week of. So you know what to look out for when you buy your comic books. So we're gonna not gonna do go through all the lists because I think there's like over a hundred issues or over a hundred comic books coming out. Get released, yeah. We're gonna go through each like maybe some publishers. So for Marvel, let's mm-hmm. kick off with some Marvel. What, what okay. do we have coming up? So we have Dark Web, okay. the Dark Web for knowledge. So oh, is that, is that ending? wrapping up the? Oh, I gave Dark up. On, Web. On Dark Web. Uh, so did I. So <laughs> we can't say much in that I, situation. You know, what, you know what bothers me <laughs> is that it's it's a Spider Man book. Amazing Spider-Man book. Mm-hmm. It's a ten-pole book. Why does this book suck? Fair. I mean, I've, I think the next thing that's coming up next week is Legion of X. Okay. Have you been reading any I, of that? Because maybe there's a tie-in with that. Yeah. So since. I've been sticking. So some of the I've been waning a bit on the X books. Like X Force managed to bring it back. Um, but books I kind of like look out for is the main X Men, X Men yeah. Red, Immortal X Men, Legion of X. I've been sticking with because it ties into Sins of Sinister, and I'm quite excited for the event. Mm-hmm. It just kicked off now, uh, the 21st of January, and I'm excited for it. But Legion of X is wild. It's, I mean, it's extremely trippy. I yeah. st- I'm struggling to keep up with what I'm like. Wow, where's this book going? What's happening in this book? Really? Right is now? it complicated? Is it as complicated as Immortal? No, 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 no. no, no. So yeah. Immortal is like really good storytelling, but Legion of X is extremely convoluted. There's a lot happening at once. And it's in the actual plane, there's like failings. There's Nimrod being hacking Krakoa in a way. There's this, that, there's that. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's That's a lot of stuff come out of like left pocket and I'm like, what's happening? But it is a fun book, especially mm. with like, with what happened in Sins of Sinister number one. Yeah. There was Easter eggs in um, Legion of X. So there are Easter eggs being placed throughout this book. So that's oh, why I'm kind cool. of like still yeah, sticking so, with yeah. it. Yeah. I think I'll jump on Legion of X. Listen, it's you- worth it. It's not a terrible book. It's just extremely, uh, it's, it's extremely hard to wrap your head around because there's a lot that's happening and you're like, mm, when, when did this happen? Yeah. How did this happen? And yeah. you're like, ah. But hopefully it all comes together at some point. Mm. I mean, I have faith in Cy Spurrier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have the Miles Morales, Spider, Spider-Man 3. That is a Spider-Man book. That is wild. That is a great Spider-Man book. Like it's colors. a down-to-earth story. It's a teenager struggling between, you know, it's a Spider-Man story. Like a love story. It's everything that you mm. needed within a Spider-Man it's, vibe. The art is great. Can yeah. just, and listen, great time to jump into Spider-Man. Miles Morales, issue number three. Buy one and two. It's super fun. Mm-hmm. And when this, when Wednesday comes around, buy number three. Okay. Um, then there is... X Force. Okay. I've dropped X Force, but you making me think that I need to pick. Um, that, listen, that I was I was about to drop it. I was about to drop. Because I, I dropped know Beast orders. is doing nonsense. Yeah, no. So they're, they're addressing <laughs> the, the the first bits, that first mm-hmm. Easter egg. Zeno, uh, the Peacock guy, uh, mm-hmm. the dude with Peacock suit, um, Beast shenanigans. That was this last issue from. <laughs> okay, it's wild. I won't spoil or anything because. I'll, I, w- I want you guys to catch up, really? but based on some some hectic stuff. Yeah, you read Immortal uh, X Men way. Sins of Sinister. Uh, Sinister has uh, Dark Beast's head in like a weird container, and he's like, mm-hmm. "Man, you just mad? You're not even the darkest beast anymore." Mm-hmm. I'm like, that is like the line. <laughs> That is like the line people's been saying. Like people that's keeping up with the Xbox, they're like, yeah, no, be on some wild things. Oh, I need to jump back in. Yeah, no. I have to. You definitely do. I have to. Um, um, and then we don't have much from... Uh, from um, any DC. Like what? Oh, we DC, got some there's action Lazarus. comics. There's Lazarus. Um, okay. The Lazarus event. Have yeah. you been keeping up with that? Because... I know that stems from Mark Wade's. So he was writing a Batman, Batman Superman Man, World's, World's Finest, yeah. uh, which I started, but at the time I was collecting too many books, so I dropped. I was like, okay, no. Apparently, some some really cool things happened in that book where uh, there was a villain that Batman Superman needed to take on, but this villain is way too powerful. Mm-hmm. Took uh, Hal Jordan, a uh, mind controlled Hal Jordan's Green Lantern, merged into one like Super Saiyan style, go Vegito style, and 
the I suits. Mean, that's why I thought, okay, I maybe mean, I should pick this book up. <laughs> so there's certain things that happened in there and then the Batman versus Robin. So because I haven't been keeping up with those titles, I was like, mm, okay, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not with Lazarus. No, I do understand. Yeah. But that's that stemming, that's stemming into Dawn of DC. So that's laying the groundwork for Dawn of DC. Yeah, because so. the, what is it? The Dark Crisis has ended recently. Yeah, yeah. So when we do Comic Book Club, because we are doing Good Dark Crisis, we kind of we will kind of touch on this a little bit. But yeah, Action Comics has been kind of fun. I've been keeping up with Action Comics since uh, 1040 mm-hmm. or 1038. Or I know. So, I yeah. really want to jump back into now. Well, 1050. Mm-hmm. 1050 is a great time to jump in if you're a Superman fan and you don't be jarred by the number. 1050 is great. It's Dawn of DC. It resets Clark. Uh, because I think some things happened in Bendis where he came out similar to how Spider-Man mm-hmm. released his identity. So everyone knows, okay, Clark Kent is Superman. So they kind of reset that in 1050. Okay, that's cool. Which is really cool. He gets a new power in 1050, which is, which, I mean, if Superman was already OP, he like super OP now. Ooh. So um, at okay. first, I, I won't lie, at first I would be put off by that. That's why, I've been, that's why I never collect Superman comics. I'm like, Superman OP. There's no interesting way to tell a story. For some reason, okay, I can understand that. You yeah. see, but for some reason, yeah. they gave him this like new extra power. I'm like, excuse Why me, you need one. <laughs> excuse me, and now I'm like, mm, okay, I'm I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay, that's um, interesting. Yeah, then we got Batman. One bad day continues with Catwoman version. I don't know who's a writer on that. Um, yeah, Detective I really want to get I'm so behind on some, Detective Comics. I really want to get into the one bad day series okay. apparently those are really cool i mean the the penguin one i read the yeah. penguin one and it was like average but i mean it's just a different cool take on each film. it is interesting it yeah. is interesting i've only read a few i haven't read the bane one i haven't read um yes, so i've read yeah. the mr freeze i've read the penguin i've read two face halfway through um the only two i've really enjoyed is dr freeze and mr freeze and the Riddler one. Okay, fair. To be honest. I wonder if uh, the Razzle Wu one will be a Ooh, vibe. That, that one also did come out, right? No, bro, that's coming out in Feb, I think. Mm, okay. That's the last one, I think, that comes okay, out. Okay, okay. That's, I mean, interesting. Mm. Um, Justice Society of America issue two. This is a book that I, I, so it kicked off with the new Golden Age one shot and then bled out into two books. So it's Stargirl and JSA. So it's a new JSA book written by Jeff Johns. Okay. Um, I read issue one. I read issue two. Oh, sorry. We look. We are looking at like this week's one. But anyway, yeah. I will dive yeah. into that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a very light week actually for this week. Mm-hmm. Boom Studios. What do we have for Boom Studios? Uh, yeah, Briar, yeah. Magic: The Gathering, and Approach. Oh, so I know it's a last super light week. week uh, Bold Behemoth. Yes, uh, yes, book yes, yes. three came out. Yes, I haven't read. I it read yet, but book one. It's good, right? And it is very. Cool. It's good, right? I mean, I, it's it's <laughs> it's different, which is nice. I'd I'd buy with that.